I think everyone is beautiful. I think everyone is beautiful. Like I'm not I'm not saying anything new. We all know that. And I think like it's something that we often hear but we don't realize. And sometimes we realize it, but when we go like and meet other people, we don't we are not confident enough like okay, we are beautiful because we feel like people eyes on our our sauce, but like really everyone is beautiful in his own way like I, I can say it in I don't know how to say it I don't know how to express it because like in the world where we are living today a lot of people have like what they call beauty criteria but who is the person like fixing this beauty criteria like who are you why do you think like being skinny is beautiful but being like fat or being like a little bit bulky will be like ugly why it's also so pretty like when you see a fat girl you're like wow she's beautiful you see a disabled person she's so beautiful you see you see a, a, albinism and you'll be like wow that is like the greatest beauty in the world for me so i think really there's no criteria for beauty. Everyone is beautiful in his own way. And everyone should be allowed to do what they want, when they want, like they want. So I really think like beauty is beauty. <laughs> yeah. In Korea, we all know. Like when I came, I was really skinny. I was like, Oh, really really skinny so after coming to Korea I gained like 15 kilograms so uh, first it started like from my home everyone was like why are you so fat but then I just gained five kilos by then and they were like why are you so fat and when I saw myself in the mirror I was like but I'm not fat I'm okay but everyone else was saying I'm fat so I tried like to lose weight to please other people and as much as i tried everyone always said something now i gained 15 kilos more and they still say i'm fat but i'm fine like i don't care <laughs> like before i really felt like really weird and i was like i should lose weight and everything so that people should say i want people like when people will see me they will be like oh you're so skinny but I don't want it anymore, like, I don't even want they should tell me, yeah, okay, you're skinny, okay, you're fat, I want nothing from them, like, they should just try to say nothing, and when I see myself in the mirror, I appreciate myself, I'm like, okay, I'm fine, but it doesn't mean, like, I, I want to be overweight or something, I just want to be fine in my own eyes, like, if I see in the mirror and I see, like, I'm really pretty, I'm really beautiful, then it should be that, I don't want, I don't want any other thing, so I think that's what, that's the most difficult thing in, in Korea, to be like, uh, this kind of person, I don't know what to say, <laughs> in Korea it's really difficult because you don't find clothes, you don't find, like, like nothing fits like when you go to korean uh, shops and you try to to buy a trouser or something you feel like jesus there's something missing somewhere but uh however we still find like in zara's shop h&m forever 25 you can go you can go is it forever 21 yes i think it's forever 21 <laughs> I'm sorry, DS25, forever 21 is like mixing up in my brain. <laughs> okay, so I think like we still go there and we can find something to, to put on. So I think that's the most, the most difficult thing in, in Korea, like finding clothes that fit, shoes that fit, like finding your own self in all these Korean stores is really difficult but then I still appreciate myself the way I am and I still love the way I am and I don't want to change because I'm living for myself not for everyone <laughs> really bad 
because I've been skinny all my life. I only gained a lot of weight after coming to Korea. So uh, when my mom, my sister, they saw me like for the first time when I went back home, they were like, oh, why is your ass so fat? Why are you so fat? Like, what are you eating? And then I was like, nothing. I'm still okay because I'm wearing the same clothes. I think I didn't get that that much weight so I felt really bad I didn't want them to say that but I also remember when we were kids my sister was really fat and I was skinny and I used to say that so I don't know why skinny people like to say to other people that they are fat and I felt like it's a kind of karma like we reverse because she's really skinny now and I'm really like fat kind of fat and then she's like why are you so fat why are you gaining so much weight so I felt bad, I felt like, okay, maybe I should change, maybe I should do a little uh, diet, maybe I should try sports, maybe I should exercise more, maybe I should eat more vegetables, maybe, 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 maybe. And I tried all the maybes. And after like losing like two, three kilograms, they didn't see any different. They were still like, you're so fat. And I was like, I'm, I'm killing myself. I'm there making a lot of effort so that you should see that I'm okay, but you keep on seeing those. So I, I didn't care anymore. I'm just like, okay, anytime I get home, they'll be like, oh, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh. that's all. I, I, I don't want anything else. Yeah. That's what I don't understand. Like, what is wrong with everyone? Like, what is wrong? Like, even if I'm overweight, do you think like if you tell me I'm overweight, like just when you see me, do you think it's gonna hurt me or it's gonna hurt me? Like, do people think sometimes, like even if I'm overweight, don't just say to me like when you see me like, oh, why are you so fat? It's such a mean sentence, like really, it's so mean. But I've learned to turn that into compliment when you're like, oh, why are you so fat? I'm like, thank you, right? Wow, you see? You see my hands? You see how fat they are? They're nice, right? That's how I am now because I don't longer perceive it as a negative sentence. I perceive it like a compliment, like a good thing, like when people tell me, okay, I can wait. I'm like, yeah. So that what you said about happiness being in ourselves, I'm a very happy person, but it came a time in Korea where I was so sad. I was so sad because I got infected by the society. I got like so much bad vibes. Because when I went to school, before coming to Korea, I will tell you guys the truth. I never knew what is it to have stress, to be stressed in life. I didn't even know, like I never used that word before. I went to school and they teach me like, if you have stress, what do you do? And I was like, what is stress? What should I do? And people were like, I go to Nolebang and I sing, I go to the mountain, I go to this. So I learned about stress. I studied like, oh, okay, when you have stress, is this, is this, is this. And I started having stress. I started feeling stress by, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. So, I, I feel like, when you're in a society, you get impact from that society. And I also felt so sad. I felt so sad. I was in Korea like for what, more than a year. And I called my dad. I was like, please, I need to go back home because I need to remember where I come from. I need to remember who I am. Because staying here, I think I'm getting, I'm going crazy. I'm becoming someone I am not. And when I went back home, that's why always I go back home. To, to keep in touch with who I am, to, to remember where I am coming from and to know really who, who is me. <laughs> so I think that is really, really important. Okay, being a black person in Korea is like, sometimes it's really hard. Because you get into the into the, 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 the subway and you find ajumas who will come and touch your hair and your skin and try to smell 
like I, I, I I'm not sure what they're trying to do but it's really weird sometimes you you just want to be like you just want to be like an, an like everyone else but I realize in Korea is something I can do and it's sometimes it's, it pressurizes me at a level that I don't want to go out because I feel like all eyes on me usually I have no problem with eyes on me like I'm not saying like <laughs> but sometimes it's like it's like all the time you can't anymore I, I I felt a lot like this in Korea like even when I go to church or when I go to school I just I can't just be like a normal person like for sure they will notice I'm there like I don't know like I understand like I'm different but just pretend like I'm not please because sometimes it's really aching when I'm in class I I I just want to be like any other student. When I'm in church, I just want to be like any other person. I don't want people treating me differently always. And the worst is that they try to be more nice with you. So that is all the problem. Because being so nice at a certain level, you feel like you're oppressed, like you can't breathe anymore. You feel like please let me just be like any other pe person i think every time i go into a new club or a, a new a new uh, association or something with other koreans i always when they tell me like what do you want from us i'm like please please pretend i'm not different please don't try to be too nice with me please just treat me like any other person and that will be more helpful like you're not helping me like treating me differently you're not helping me when you're looking at me always you're not helping when when you want me to talk always you're not helping when you want me to share my opinion always you're not helping when you want like when you have all the attention on, on me on always no you're not helping me you 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 you're making me feel uncomfortable i feel oppressed i feel like like i should go like i shouldn't be there and it's, it's really like terrible because I, I am like a religious person so I go to church always and at a certain moment I hated going to church because of that when I arrive in church everyone wants to hear me say something or wants to hear like my accent in Korean wants always ask me like the same questions like I've been answering for this uh, to the same questions for like three years now I'm really tired like I'm really like so tired so please just let us breathe just let us be that's all what we are asking for like seriously like for my own that's all what I'm asking for treat me like just every other person pretend I'm not different please it feels like you're elevated but you don't like the thing that they are actually elevating you but you feel like you're down because you feel privileged i don't know if i'm the only person who have a problem with that but i really do have a problem with that i am someone like when i there are only two two places where i take myself serious in school and in church like i'm always serious at those in those places so when i go to church or i go to school i am serious so please don't try to make me talk don't try to make me act uh, i don't know like i'm playing or something no and i i feel like koreans they think like when you're a black person they have this this thought i don't know why that you're from usa and that you're surely like super cool and then you're surely like super i don't know what they see in movies and when they see you they be like, what's up? And everything, try to smile with you and try to... Sometimes I'm like... Why? I'm like, I, I'm the nice person, but... You can just meet me on the, on the street and be like, Hey, what's up? And everything. And you tell me, you're from USA? And I'm like, no, Africa. And you'll be like, it's same. So things like this, you want to do well, but it's right.
no 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 so i i just want what i'm waiting from korea is to have natural because where we want the advantage they don't give it to us we want the advantage when we are looking for jobs we want them like okay because you're a black person i will i will uh, employ you and you'll be you'll be you'll be a great uh, different for our company no 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 we don't have that kind of advantages we just have the advantages of like say more about you always in church or in say more about you dog oh, how do you feel do you want coffee no we don't want that those kind of advantages because they are not so i i hope you understand what i'm trying to say i'm sorry if everyone doesn't share my uh, my opinion but that is my own opinion and the way i feel so oh i blame them a little bit because we know like korea is one of the country with the most educated people they study a lot about many different things so sometimes i ask myself why they they don't know about this why they still like act like you know like people who don't know anything about the world they travel a lot they read a lot they study a lot about many things so why they don't know about this that's why i blame them and i don't blame them you know in another way like this ajumas i understand like they're really surprised for like kids they're not really used to but like when it comes to like young or adults i expect them to know and to not cross the boundaries you know but still i see them acting like so when i came to korea i wasn't like the way i am today i just came from africa i was greeting everyone i met on the street i want to like hug everyone i was talking to everyone before and but i learned like i'm in korea things don't happen like this like those are things that you learn but it seems like they never learn like they see you you're the same person they ask you the same question they try the same things like every time so i'm like i i change i learn so i'm like why don't you so, sometimes i think like they don't just want to get like no this is, isn't right they're just like maybe someday she's gonna like it so i i have to do that again and again so i think like if you never met a foreigner before like it can be understandable that you're not like you don't have much information about that but if you have been like meeting foreigners and you have you know about that and you're still making the make same mistakes every time i'm like you see i i don't know i don't know what to say actually i i think what is missing in women now nowadays is confident but then we listen a lot to these women speeches and we feel like great like okay we are ready but when we move out we look at people we feel like no 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 this is not right i think women um miss a lot of confidence and confidence comes from the people who surround you if the people who surround you always tell you how beautiful you are how amazing how smart how if, like all, always give you like the best qualities when you go out there you wouldn't feel like you're less you would feel like okay i am this but when people around you are always like criticizing you telling you okay this this thing wrong this, that thing wrong with you and everything you tend to believe in it and even if you listen a lot a lot of speeches it won't change so i encourage everyone like to to appreciate people the way they are and tell them okay you're beautiful okay you're amazing okay you're smart you're okay you're perfect the way you are and then every woman will have a lot of confidence i think that's it always positive vibe negative vibe we don't want i see the world differently when i come to korea, i came to korea i learned a lot because it's it's really it's really a teaching everything i've been going through here it it's, it make me grow it make me mature 
and I think it will always be the best experience of my life because of everything I went through difficult as everyone I met I met it was really a blessing I think